imagine what our world would be like today without the invention of photography. Without mirror images of people, places, things, or events throughout history. Without current news photos, film, or video of what is happening around the world. Magazines without photos, movies without visuals, no family albums, no website visuals. In short, a very dull, uninformed existence. Words cannot even describe what our life today would be like without photography. Art could only vaguely and subjectively replicate our daily lives. Yet we put billions of dollars in support into art preservation each year. Doesn't photography deserve a fraction of that support? I prefer black and white photography because it's furthest from reality. Black and white is really an abstract medium to begin with, and you're only limited by the optical rendition of the lens. I can't control values, texture, contrast, and many qualities. Most of my work has been done in black and white. Margaret Burke White was born in 1904, daughter of an engineer inventor, from whom she seemed to inherit quite a sense for adventure. She eventually became one of the pioneers of industrial photography, then a photojournalist for Life and Fortune magazines. She set the standard for a true feminist leader, opting for career first, personal life second. Burke White photographed Gandhi, Winston Churchill, Roosevelt, Pope Pius XII, the horrors of war, and the dawning of the industrial age. Gordon Parks was born in 1912, the youngest of 15 children, into a segregated, poverty-stricken environment. As a young man, he cleaned dishes by day and played piano in brothels by night. In 1938, he bought a $7.50 camera and found an inspiration to speak through its lens. Parks became the first African American to photograph for Life and Vogue magazines. His life's work has included photojournalism, motion picture soundtracks and direction, celebrity portraits and poetry, all reflections of his insightful perception which he called Voices in the Mirror. Victor Hasselblad was born in Sweden in 1906. He would one day become heir to the first company to bring photography to the Swedish public. During World War II, the Swedish Air Force contracted Victor to create a surveillance camera. Hence, the first Hasselblad camera was developed, and many more were yet to come. The Hasselblad was so widely popular, it was termed the civilian camera and has been the camera of choice in most NASA space explorations. These masters of photography are only a few of the many represented in the International Photography Hall of Fame. More than 500 artists and scientists and thousands of photographs from dozens of countries are represented in the permanent museum collection. A few others who have made crucial contributions to the art and science of photography include Joseph Niepce and Louis Daguerre, both from France, collaborated to produce the very first photographs. Niepce in 1827, and Daguerre with the first permanently fixed image in 1837. Henry Fox Talbot from England, who introduced the first paper negative. Hugo Vueger from Canada, a pioneer in color photography. Louis Hine, whose photographs exposed the need for early social reform in the United States. Edward Mybridge, whose motion studies inspired the invention of cinematography. George Eastman, who invented a camera the public could use. Alfred Stieglitz, who was instrumental in turning photography into an art form. Dorothea Lang documented the Great Depression. Edward Steichen, a pioneer commercial photographer and creator of the largest photographic exhibition in history. Adolf Fossbender, 
a leading pictorialist and portrait photographer of the 20th century. Maurice Tabard, who perfected the solarization technique. Yusuf Karsh, who photographed the celebrities of the world. And of course, Ansel Adams, who captured the beauty of the Western American landscape. From the early 1800s to now, over 200 years of photographers, prints, and innovations are explored and honored for immense contributions to the art and science of photography. Aside from the massive permanent collection, each year the IPHF features many solo and group exhibitions involving more than 500 photographers from around the world. Among some of the most notable contemporary visiting exhibitors are Jan Oswald's recurring dreams, romantic visions of psychic reality, Phil Borges' National Geographic stark cultural images, Albert Kortzier's art of X-rayography, John Coffer's contemporary tintypes, Nicholas Orzio's images of occupied Japan, and Jason Haley's abstract selective eye series. Decades ago, the founding photographers of the Photographic Art and Science Foundation envisioned a way to honor the pioneer photographers who have made major contributions to the craft. Historical research and collection of prints and equipment began back in 1965. Today, the IPHF houses not only these immense permanent and visiting collections, but also displays the world's largest panoramic photograph, a 360 degree, 150 by nine foot print of the Grand Canyon, as well as the world's largest one piece transparency, which features a new photograph every two years. For the last couple of decades, this arduous endeavor has continued. And today, the IPHF continues its dedication to the mission of promoting public awareness and education of photographic history through extensive collection and archiving of world-famous photography and equipment, and through both national and international outreach efforts. IPHF outreach programs include hands-on learning for students of all ages, from new techniques in digital photography to early historic processes, workshops are held throughout the year. Traveling exhibitions of historic and contemporary photographs can also be accompanied by workshops featuring the earliest processes like daguerreotypes, ambrotypes, tintypes, and many more. The Photography Hall of Fame also provides educational curriculum to educators around the world. Biographies and special feature articles on Hall of Fame inductees are distributed to student, amateur, and professional photography organizations to promote the rich history of photography. The quarterly publication provides IPHF membership with historic and contemporary articles, as well as upcoming exhibits and events. Readers enjoy photography auction updates, book list, lecture and seminar schedules, and much more in the Collector's Choice publication. The museum staff spends countless hours preparing, sorting, and storing archives that have been donated by foundations and individuals around the world. The archives include more than one million prints, cameras, and other equipment. The museum is home to some of the very first cameras, the smallest and the largest cameras, dating back to the mid-1800s, and the extensive Leica collection. IPHF also sponsors and tracks photographic auctions on an international level, keeping the photographic world aware of the value inherent in their archival collections. All these efforts are only some of the ways IPHF reaches out to increase public awareness of photography and share knowledge and vision across generations and national borders. Thanks to the dozens of board members, supporters, and staff, the IPHF continues to commemorate the history, art, and science that have shaped photographic destiny. Through the science of archiving, the IPHF makes international photographic treasures available for future generations to marvel, learn, and enjoy. Touch with your eyes and hear with your heart. Photography crosses all cultures with the universal language. Join IPHF in this immensely worthwhile effort to preserve and share the vision.